Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some cards. Well, one card because I'm getting close to my lunar roommate waking up. And I'm going to go ahead and pause it and turn off my TV. Okay, so I want to share with you first what I was going to do. I have to make two cards. Um, and I was going to use this music note heart I was gonna put you I have a song in my heart or something like that and that didn't turn out too great I'm gonna show you how it looked and I tried red at first red ink and this I use um, stamping up ink and I was like huh maybe I'm doing something wrong so I stamped it and I was like okay maybe I need to apply some I stamped this one first so I said maybe I need to apply some more ink and that's what came out so okay maybe it needs to be black so I did it with the black ink and this is Martha Stewart coal c-o-a-l ink and it didn't turn out too hot and then I did this side as well and it didn't turn out so great because what I was going to do is do a um, cascade I was going to make this like a print a pattern paper and it didn't turn out so great and so I said, okay, let's just put this stamp to the side. And I don't know if this is Simon Says Stamps. I got this in a D stash. So I don't know who. It could be Love Handed Crafter stamp set. I don't know where it's from. But I thought the stamps were cute. And then so I said, okay, well, let me try something else. And so I want to use this girl stamp. And she's like a fairy, but she kind of looks like Mother Nature. And um, I stamped her out a, a few times. I'm going to share with you those as well. This one was my first image and it came out okay, but I didn't have enough ink right here. And I was not using um, my Stamp Perfect tool. I was just trying to stamp it out to see. And I should have used the Stamp Perfect tool because I could have re-stamped it. And I like this paper. It has like little speckles in it, if you can see it. Then I stamped out in this one. I was like, okay, well, let me see. And she's okay, but if you notice, like, right here on her leg, it looked like a little smudge. So I was like, ah, nope, I won't go with that one either. Then I tried my favorite craft paper, and the same thing happened with that smudge on her leg. So I was like, okay, maybe it's me, um, and I don't know what's going on. But I tried another one, and that's the one we're gonna be, I'm going to be working on with you all today. And that's this one. And I think it came out fairly good. It came out great. And so now, if you notice on the stamp that I showed you, the stamp said it has a lot of butterflies around. So what I'm going to do is I took my Recollections Butterfly Punch. And I just grab a few sheets of scrap paper and I punch them out. A few butterflies. Because I'm just going to put them on the card right here and the bad thing about this card is that it's not going to it's going in the mail so I can't have too much dimension and I have to just write to the recipient and say you can pull up the wings if you like so this is going to be the inside of the card and I got this card stock from Tuesday morning and maybe I'll just do this. I think that's, that works better. I'll, it'll be a stand-up card. And so maybe I'll put a little uh, pull tab. Not a pull tab, but a, a band right here. So I just have it like this for now. And what I've been using is just this um, Aileen's Tacky Glue. And I've been taking my butterflies. Because I think the ones that I had punched out and I showed you all before... I gave them all away in a um, pocket letter recently, and I haven't punched any more out. So now all I'm doing is just picking the butterflies up, and I like that they're plain and dimensional. They have different colors to them. So I'm just folding over the butterfly, folding the wings, and I'm putting it right in here, or either I'm gluing one wing down. And that's all I'm doing with the Aileen's glue. I really need to find um, that little tip applicator to make the glue come out a little bit finer. I bought this. This came in one of the glue things, but as you can see, it has a wide opening and it's not very fine tip. 
I haven't got a chance to go online and purchase anything because I've been shopping locally. Um, so, and whenever I'm on a computer, my little roommate thinks that the computer is his computer. Whatever electronic device I'm using, he actually thinks that it's for him. And I don't want him to use a lot of electronic devices, even though I know that it's inevitable considering that's the kind of world we live in right now. But I don't want him to, I'm going to zoom out a little. I don't want him to be dependent on it like we have become. And I don't use much electronic devices as some people because I do um, like the simplicity of not having electronic devices. Unfortunately for me, I do rely on YouTube as my source of entertainment. I watch the news in the morning time and then I tend to watch YouTube videos. in the afternoon after work once I come home from work because I don't have cable I'm going to sit something down because this cart popping up is driving me crazy um, this is from another project that I have been working on and once it all dries I'll show that to you I'm going to actually try to make one with you all as well and I don't want all of them to be solid colors my lighting is horrible this morning horrible I don't want it to be all solid colors because butterflies are so beautiful that I want it to be all over. And I just like this. This fairy looks like Mother Nature to me. And I use this paper to punch out some. And this is a um, Hot Buy from Michaels. I love this paper. And I use some of that on there. And I, if I was thinking, I could have stamped out this fairy on this paper and I could have paper pieced her outfit. I think that I will use some clear ink and try to stamp it out again and color those flowers in when I am more ready to deal with that kind of coloring. Right now I'm going to stick with solid colors and go from there. So as we've been chatting or as I've been chatting and you've been listening I have decided that I'm going to not I'm going to write a sentiment on the bottom I'll probably write something on the inside I do have a few stamp sentiments but as you all know I am not big into words and alpha sentiment stickers stamps and all that so I don't normally get them but I did go to Walmart and I saw these pretty colors that were um, blue and red that I could not resist and I bought them because I was like I need those for these pocket letters for spring and Easter but I'll probably end up giving them away because I'm not I don't know what has happened to me to not like the alphas that much um, I guess because you you know I cut crooked I stamp crooked as well so I think that it's a problem that I just have personally not wanting to stamp crooked and keep repeating and then going over and over. So I'm just going to fill this up with butterflies. I think that that will add to it. It will bring that black image to life. Um, and hopefully you all are enjoying this. I do have some more things coming up. I've created a few things, but I haven't did a video for it because I wanted to I like to create one and then I like to do it on camera so everyone can see what I've created and I have run out of butterflies so I'm gonna just punch out a few more this is why it's important to not just throw all of your scrap pieces away because you never know when you are going to need them for small projects like this and this is what I'm using as I showed you yesterday with the bunnies I use these pieces for the bunny and then this is the butterfly and I got this from Walmart it was on clearance for a banner and I just thought that that would be a great thing to use for 
some other craft projects. I always look at things and try to figure out what I can use for a craft project, not for its natural use, only because when you look at things, you can always visualize something else. It doesn't have to be used for that specific reason that the, um, the creator has intended. It's your use. Once you purchase it, you can use it how you want to use it and create it. And so this is basically all I'm going to do for this card. I do have another card that I have in mind of how I want to make. And I think that I'm going to go ahead and um, prep it and come back on on this video and share with you all that card as well. I have gotten into craft paper a lot. I do want to quickly share with you something once I finish putting this last butterfly on. I just think that this is so pretty. And what I'm going to do with this one, I'm going to put it on her dress because I think that she needs something. Maybe it'll turn out okay. And if not, I will take it off. Nah, it didn't look right to me. So that's, that is that. Let me show you something really quickly. Okay, I'm not sure if you all are near a Target. But if you are and they still have some of their Valentine's Day stuff on sale, I would suggest that you go there if you need this. They had these cards on sale and it was a, it's a 30 count card set. It was $3 and I never saw this. I don't usually go to Target bullseye section that often. I don't go to Target that much. Um, but I went there after the Valentine's Day and I got a few of these because they were $1.50. And I think that this is such a great deal for 30 cards to craft and create. And I got a few other things from there as well. And this, these cards are a little bit smaller than normal and they have like a texture feel to them. But I think that these would be great for craft projects. You know, you can use these as... Regular cards to mail out things, sentiments. Um, I know that I had did a, a granted a wish when someone wanted an envelope. So what I normally do is I just I try to dig through my stash that I have, unless it's something specific that someone wants and I may not have it, and I may go out and purchase it. But I usually try to dig through my stash first, unless I see something that I need to get, and then I'll get it. Anyway. That is that for this card and it's done and I'm just going to hand write a note um, on there and I hope that the recipient likes this card. I think it's very pretty. This is something that I would definitely put on my desk <laughs> at work. Um, I like this and I'll probably just go around the edges and ink the edges up with, um, with some color I don't know yet. And so I will put that little band, I'm going to make a band that goes here. And then um, I'll write on the back, just, you know, thinking of you as something like that. And then I'll just put handmade. I don't normally write handmade on my cards that I send out. I don't know why. I just don't. Um, that's one of the problems that I have with not giving myself enough credit for the things I do. Anyway, I'll be right back with the next project. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take these scrap pieces of paper that I showed you previously in a previous video that I got from Hobby Lobby, the studio, paper studio, and I'm going to make a cra uh, quilt card. Um, like I told you before, I think these papers coordinate beautifully together. So all you're going to need is, you know, for this project, if you would like to do one is a card and I'm using this craft paper because I'm in love with craft paper for the time being and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay these out just like that and I don't want to put any seam I don't want to show any of the craft paper so I guess it doesn't matter what you use but I just want to make sure that they all line up fairly well and then I'm going to stamp out an image on top of the craft paper on top of the card hopefully and then I'm going to cut the pieces off so let's go ahead and get started so all I'm doing is just putting some tape right here and I'm using this 
Glue Runner, and I don't particularly like this one, but I have a lot of them. Um, I had bought a pack. I think I bought these from Tuesday morning. It's four in a pack. I'm going to go ahead and use them up so I cannot purchase them anymore. I don't want to waste the products that I did purchase. So I'm just putting this all the way to the very edge. And I use this one first because, as you can see, it has this little tear right there. I'm just I'm running that back over and I do want them to coordinate with each other the colors so that is the next one I hope you all are having a great day I hope your year is going as according to your plan all your things that you wanted to get completed you're able to complete them And anything that you haven't got a chance to complete, you are in the works of completing that. So, I'm just putting another piece right here. And I'm quite sure you've all seen this technique of you, or you've done this technique before. I just didn't want to waste these strips. And this is why I don't like this um, tape that much. I love this this one particular pattern I don't know why I love it so much but I just love it like I think it's so pretty and the one thing that I have to be careful of is as you all know I do not always cut straight so some of my pages some of my strips may be a little bit off so I just want to make sure that I am lining them up as close as possible to the other one 